this video is going to be about the degrees of dominance. So when we think about dominance, it can actually take place in a couple different ways. So let's say we have two alleles that are both dominant, one for a red color flower and one for a white color flower. So in complete dominance, um, let's say that this red allele is going to be completely dominant over this white allele. So then um, the phenotype of the offspring would be red flowers. Because in complete dominance, one allele is completely dominant over the other and completely masks the expression of the recessive allele. So now moving on to incomplete dominance. So in incomplete dominance, the phenotype of the offspring is going to be somewhere in between the two phenotypes of the parents. So let's say we have one parent that is homozygous for red color flowers and another parent that is homozygous for white colored flowers. So then their phenotype, uh, or the offspring, are going to have the genotype CR and CW. So in incomplete dominance, remember we said the phenotype is going to be somewhere in between the two phenotypes of the parents. So in incomplete dominance, the phenotype of this individual would be pink. So they would have pink flowers when we mix um, red and white together. So lastly, we're going to look at codominance. So in codominance, again, we'll have two um, individuals, one with homozygous red flowers and one with homozygous white flowers. So we'll cross them, and the uh, genotype of the offspring would be CRCW. But in codominance, what's going to happen is both of these alleles are going to get expressed simultaneously and independent of one another. So what, would that, what that would look like is, let's say, um, this is our flower. Okay, it doesn't look like a flower, but that's our flower. Um, so let's say this part would be red, and then you know maybe this part would also be red, and then the rest of it would be white. And so what we can see in this is that we have both the red color and the white color being expressed at the same time independently of one another. So just to review, um, we have the complete dominance where one allele is going to completely mask the expression of the second allele. And so the uh, phenotype of the offspring in this case would only be red. In incomplete dominance, the phenotype of your offspring is going to be somewhere in between the phenotypes of the parents. So if we have one red and one white, the offspring would have pink flowers. So lastly, with codominance, both of the alleles are going to be expressed at the same time and independently of one another. And so the offspring of these parents would have both um, red and white on the same flower. So just different areas would be red and different areas would be white. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.